Hi, everybody. I'm Sharon Tinkinson. I'm executive director of the Greater Philadelphia Film Office. Welcome to the Prince Music Theater and the Sharon Pinkinson Film Project. Now, about a year and a half ago, I had the opportunity to be in Los Angeles working, trying to drum up business, pitching our, our new uh, Pennsylvania tax incentives, and I have an opportunity to get the screenplay for cover. It was a movie that was set entirely in Los Angeles. I said, uh-uh, we gotta make this movie in Philadelphia. This is a story that has to be told in Philadelphia. Before I was accused of murder, before my family was ripped apart. I got a surprise for you. What? What is it? Some of our dreams are about to come true. She thought she had it all. But beneath the surface... Hey, Monica. Welcome to the city of brotherly love. Hey, I'm Robert X. Goffin for Real Black TV, and I'm here with the director of Cover, a new movie about... Well, I'll let you tell me what it's about. It's about a lot of things. It's about betrayal. It's about a, it's a action thriller mystery uh, film, and it deals with the HIV and the VAC community and, and the whole DL situation and marriage and betrayal. A lot of good things. Right now, I'm here with two of the stars of Cover, Mr. Raz Adoti and Tomorrow Baldwin Montgomery. Without giving away too much of the story, um, he's basically a guy who was. Um, born and raised in Philly, unlike myself. He then goes to Atlanta to be educated. He basically becomes a psychiatrist out there, meets and falls in love with his beautiful wife, played by Angelina Ellis, has a beautiful daughter, tomorrow. Um, and uh, then they basically, the movie starts, uh, it picks up where we return to Philly. He's, he's gone back there because um, basically he's been offered a, a very lucrative job there as a, as a hospital psychiatrist. And uh, once he gets back, Elements of his past raised their ugly heads. That. This time you knew the truth. That will take her to the very edge. And what was the genesis of Cover? I know you're a man of strong faith. How did that uh, play a role in your passion for this project? Well, basically, you know, I the stats, one in seven black men in D.C. is infected. Of uh, all the newly reported age cases, women around 70% black women. Uh, it's like, you know, I just wanted to do something. I'm not an activist or a politician, but I am a filmmaker. And I wanted to make a difference, have people talk about it. Not, I mean, age in Africa is important, but age here is important also. So I'm just really, really trying to make a difference. Now, you're also a veteran of screen as well, an actor. The transition from acting to directing, what is that process like for you personally? Well, I really started out as a stage director, and I was intimidated by the by the cameras and stuff, but I went to AFI and got over that, and so um, started making movies. So I've been directing really more over the years than acting. Acting is something I've done and continue to do, but my real passion is directing and producing and writing. Oh man, he's such this, this gentle giant, and he, and he lets you do so much, but he's very specific about what he wants, and he challenges you, and, and, and he pushes you to that limit, but he really lets you develop a character as opposed to just getting a script and just, you know, hitting your mark, saying your line, he really let you develop something. And most directors don't do that. The story is universal. I mean, the issues that are raised within the film, such as HIV, I mean, people speak of it as being an epidemic. It's a pandemic. It, it, it's affecting everyone across the globe. No community is safe. No religion or faith is safe or exempt from, from death um, by, by this disease. And we all need to take responsibility, and definitely this movie touches um, with certain issues within the church, which are uh, definitely per pertinent to, to this community. But um, I think ultimately it is a universal story, story and I, I don't want to get caught up in just seeing it as a church thing, because it's just, you know, us as African Americans, us as human beings, regardless of color, regardless of, of nationality or geography or religion or faith, it's it affects us all. Now the state of black cinema is constantly evolving. What is the process uh, as far as distribution goes and how can we get the word out about the film? Well, if you can really just email people and talk to your pastors and, and get people in church to really support this effort, it's going to be a life-saving thing because it's, it's more than a movie. As he said, it's a movement. We're trying our best to get the word out to people to really not be apathetic to really begin to understand that no one's coming to save us. We have to make a difference in terms of our children, 
our, our sisters, our daughters, um, and the young men in the community. We really have to be, become proactive in terms of this or it's going to kill us. It really is. It's a must. Cover. <laughs> responsible. Be responsible out there. You have to do it. <laughs> It was very hard raising the dollars, and we stopped shooting for two weeks. We hadn't had no money or anything, but the ensemble of the company stayed together for the most part, and we were able to get an investor, Mike Damano, to come and invest with us. And so God blessed us, and we were able to do it. Just like when you're making independent films that you believe in, they're passion projects. They're not like a big studio film. You have to just deal with all the obstacles that are thrown at you, and to the grace of God, you get through it. So this is one of those projects. and. God's blessing us and getting it out to as many people as we can. So we need your help in making it happen. It's a February 22nd cover in a theater near you. And you can check our website, coverthemovie.com. gives you all the places it's showing around the country. So please support us. Well, we have a very specific network of people called you. We unfortunately don't have a great marketing budget and we don't have we did this on a shoestring, and um, Corey can address this also, but basically, we really need you to help us tell people that this movie exists and to, on February 22nd, to go to theaters and fill those theaters around the country where we are opening.